Hello everyone, thank you for watching. This video will be the first episode of many, before we get started, I'll tell you something about the production. I teased a series called Frisco Origins in October of 2020 because I was bored. This video erupted and hyped a lot of people. Finally, I have the correct resources and research to make a good video. 504 has the best recorded history, so I will start with that engine. Now presenting the Yankee. 504 has been an operational engine at Subodollar City for almost four years. She has been in the park for almost six. Since her debut, 504 has become probably the most popular engine to ride the rails in the Ozarks. The engine has a very interesting history. She was part of an order of over 200 industrial well tank locomotives built in Czechoslovakia from 1940 to 1941 that would see use in Germany for construction purposes, mining, or general stock. 76 was also part of this order. Their class of locomotive is referred to as a Chesko Moravska Kolbendanik B670. 504 worked for a company called Hans Battern AG. 504 was also a short range engine, meaning she had a smaller fuel capacity and was not meant for long trips on the high iron. The early 1960s came and 504 was purchased by a certain lad from the States. His name was presumably James Folesh. Folesh was also responsible for, for importing this, 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 this one, that one and this one too and many others um, that's not limited to those in 1964 another James upstate purchased two engines from Valesh one of them was a Colbin Danik 040T the other was a German built Ornstein and Koppel tank engine of the same white classification the CKD was heavily Americanized with a headlight cowcatcher bell new whistle, cab, and even a tender. The tender came from a fellow two-footer that was located near St. Augustine, Florida. It was a miniature 462 Pacific. The tank engine was numbered 504 after a standard gauge locomotive that ran the Minneapolis, Northfield, and Southern Railroad. James Machakik grew up watching this railroad and took 210 number 504 into deep appreciation. Little 504 ran every October in a loop on Jim's land until a tragedy on October 13, 2007 when an unstable caboose collapsed and squished volunteer William Peggett. This ended 504's operational career in Minnesota. James Majokic passed away on June 22, 2012. He was 81. Four years later, most of his collection of narrow-gauge rolling stock was sold. Three locomotives and several other pieces of equipment were gathered by well-known Missouri theme park Silver Dollar City. 504 and a Plymouth diesel were immediately trucked back to Missouri. The third locomotive was sent to the Strasburg Railroad for running gear work. An agreement during the purchase was that 504 had to keep her number while in service. She was immediately taken apart by the crew of the Frisco Silver Dollar Line and a new boiler was shipped in by the Lund Machine Works in Minnesota. Meanwhile, the other CKD on Park, 76, had been overhauled several months prior to these events. Her original boiler was rusting out in the woods near the robber shack. Suddenly, the vegan mechanic and red-headed foreman jot down an idea. Let's salvage 76's boiler flues and make a cow catcher out of them. So. They did exactly that. Also new with the engine was an authentic air pump. 
the railroad already had four smaller scaled builds of cross compound air pumps, three on each engine and one extra. When 504 came around, she arrived with a true full scale authentic Westinghouse air pump installed by the original owner. To save a lot of work, they left on the Westinghouse model and continued on with the restoration efforts. 504 had a Pile National type headlight. Piles were extremely common on U.S. steam locomotives. Silver Dollar City, in fact, already had another Pile headlight being used at the time on ONK number 13. 504 also received a new cab. The time came, and in February of 2018, 504 began her shakedowns to prove herself worthy for the hills and the curves of the Silver Dollar Line. During this time, she wore two different whistles. One was a Norfolk and Western single chime. And the other was her well-recognizable Nathan six chime replica. Five oh four indeed proved worthy during the shakedowns and now awaited an ex an inspection to run for the public. The hold for the inspection took a while, and five oh four didn't start pulling passengers all the way until four months later. On june eighteenth, twenty eighteen, the five oh four showed herself for all to see. Her debut was such a large event that anchors like Trains Magazine, KY3, and Trevlin the Trainiac documented her first steps. 504 immediately became a superstar, and the Frisco Silver Dollar Line crew was acknowledged for their hard work and hours into this fine engine. 504 has been operational ever since. Her performance has become better as more improvements are made and more years pass. 504 is and will remain an important member of the Frisco Silver Dollar Line. <laughs>